2019, and I'm joined by Jasper Svensson, who is the CEO of Betson, who, a big congratulations is in order, as last night they won the award for social responsibility in online gaming. Tell us, why do you think that you won the award? Uh, this is an area we have been investing in for a long period of time, so we are very, very happy to be winning this award. It's an important award. To treat your players in a responsi responsible way is uh, something that always been high on the agenda within Betson Group. We were actually one, I believe we were the first company more than 10 years ago to hire a responsible gaming manager. So to get this type of rewards, they mean, mean a lot and uh, we are very proud of that. Mm. Excellent, well yeah, as I say, congratulations on that. Now let's talk a little bit about Sportsbook because that had a great success over the last year. What can we expect uh, this year in 2019? Yes. So it was the World Cup, of course, which was amazing for, for all the companies, but we have, um, when it comes to our product, the product development within sports, we have taken big steps forward. So our product is significantly better this year than it was last year, of course. And so we are very happy with the pace of delivery we are seeing right now. And we intend to keep this up. So we have a lot of improvements coming up in our sports book throughout this year. So. We believe it will be a very exciting year for bets on Sportsbook. I bet. And you've also had uh, quite a, an interesting recent new appointment. Uh, you seem to be fusing uh, the role of product and tech. What's the rationale behind that? So we're still going to have a product department and a tech department, but what we're trying to do is really to make them come closer together and to give one person the opportunity to balance both the development pipe and the capacity. It's something we believe we will find synergies within, but there's still, of course, product work is product work and tech work is tech work, so a lot of the positions will remain. But to have the same person at the helm of that, we believe will improve our output and, and also that it can make us faster because we will be able to better balance the capacity we have. So that's the intention. And it also probably improves the communication and the, the uh, ability to be able to react to such a fast-paced industry. Yes. Uh, now, obviously, I want to ask you a little bit about Malta because I know you're out there. Yes. Uh, what, 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 what do you enjoy about being out there? I've been, well, five, almost six years in Malta. I absolutely love it. I mean, the weather is fantastic. 300 days of sunshine for, for a Swede, you know, you can imagine that we really enjoy it, right? The whole life you have in Malta now, the quality of life is very good. Uh, great restaurants. I see a big difference actually today and five years ago. It's getting better and better. So uh, all in all, I think quality of life in Malta is very good. And do you have a favorite hangout that you could share with us? I live in Slema, so I spend a bit of time there. But I mean, Valletta is incredible what the development in Valletta, that's, that's great, you know, so, so that, uh, that is a nice hangout. Otherwise I go also to the north a fair bit, to the beaches there, I think they are nice, and um, go also for a weekend getaway in that, so, so many places. You're making me want to move to Malta because it's rather rainy in London. Uh, well, Jesse, thank you so much for chatting to us and have a fantastic show. Thank you.